it's just woken up it is what day is it saturday did my check-in what i wanted to film here lads was it is my first time having quaker oats this morning so i'm about to go do faster cardio and i'm on the bike but i've at well i haven't prepared i am preparing some quaker oats uh now they're probably going to taste exactly like every other oat i've ever had but it's exciting you know because we don't have this shit in australia so i to cook these bad boys up. Uh, I also finally, yesterday, I got some fucking protein. Um, I got some delicious strawberry flavor, which should be good. Uh, so I'm gonna have that, some berries, a bit of dark chocolate. I got 100% dark chocolate, um, which I fucking love. I think this is fantastic. I had this with some protein last night, protein and fruit, so fantastic. I love me some chocolate orange. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna make the oats, go do cardio, come back, have them nice and cold and um, we got chest today, boys. First chest session back on the tube for a hot minute. So fucking excited about that. All right, so I've decided I'm going to turn this into a full day of eating um, because you motherfuckers love watching what I eat. I like filming what I eat. So pre-workout meal, meal one, boys. So we have some oatmeal with strawberry flavored protein. And then we've also got it topped with some strawberries here. Raspberries on the inside. Um, and then I also have some orange and some kiwi. Uh, the reason I've only got like a tiny little bit of kiwi is because that was all that was left in the fridge. I bought like a pack of fruit um, and there was only that little bit left. Um, and now I've got orange as well. So that'll be meal one. I'll put the macros up on the screen. I actually don't know what they are. I will see you for chest. Um, yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say. So I'm gonna fucking tuck it. Actually, you get a taste test. Come on, what the fuck am I talking about? Taste test, boys. All right. We have a little bit of, bit of raspberry, a bit of strawberry. Get in there. Fuck, I love oats, boys. I love them. All right. I'm gonna smash this shit and then um, see you on the way to the gym. All right, boys, so this is the gym. We're training at Battle Conquer. But I need to get myself some uh, some liquid. So heading to 7-Eleven, which is literally right here. Thank fuck. And uh, I'll grab myself some water, a little bit of a sugar-free Gatorade. And um, yeah, then we'll get into it. I'm training at a different gym today purely for a bit of a change up. No other reason, the other gym is fucking perfectly fine, but I just wanted to try this one out. It's always on the way. And it looks cool, so try it out today. Okay, so it's like basically a shed, but it's fucking pretty cool. Like it's out in the open. Uh, I have no idea what I'm gonna do. Like I know what I'm training, but I don't know where any of the machines and shit are. So I still have to figure that out. So I'm gonna find my first exercise and then uh, go from there. All right, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try this out. See how it feels. Just realized that was the whole stack. I'm gonna come back to that later in the session when I'm a little bit more fatigued. Uh, but we're gonna go back to the roots, boys. We're gonna just do some incline bench. So let's see how that goes. It, um, it feels extremely foreign. I haven't done this in so fucking long. Uh, I need another little clip thing because I don't think this ground is even. I think it's like fucked up. It's hell weird too, because where the bench sits isn't in line with the lines on the roof. So it like it throws you off a bit. It feels like you're off balance, but we'll make it work. I think it would have had four bar. I don't want to risk getting stuck on myself. So I'm gonna go back to two plates. How cool, like old school vibe. Literally there is 
no fucking walls it's just all open hot as fuck which is good because yeah a good pump not like a trainer every day but it's a cool one Okay, now we come back to the machine chest press. Uh, and this is a good lesson uh, for anyone watching why exercise sequence can be important. I've got a machine here that feels fantastic. I can't load it any heavier. Um, at another gym, I'd have like a gym pit or something here, I don't. Uh, so I put it later in the session when you're a bit fatigued. So my triceps are now fatigued, shoulders are now fatigued. Chest is double fatigued, I've done two chest exercises. Um, and now this will feel a whole lot heavier. Uh, we got the same stimulus that would have, that I had to use more weight at the start of the session. Uh, but I don't have to use extra weight. Pile on it. So like here, not a whole lot of weight. It's heavy, 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 a lot of weight. So it's not fantastic for the shoulder. Uh, in terms of strength profile, that's, you, that's where you get a bit weaker. I prefer to see a little bit more resistance in the bottom half, but it is what it is, get a good pump. <laughs> Quick fix. So because this machine isn't ideal in the length and range, I'm gonna do a single arm move across one side a little more so that the pull is already starting basically close to the midline of the body so that I have more stretch here more resistance in the length and range you'll see what I mean
looking full as a house. It's been a hot minute, I've been a fat cunt for a while. Right. <clears throat> that is session done at Battle Conquer Gym. Pretty fucking good to be honest. Like it's not somewhere you train every day because like the equipment is not bad equipment, but there's just not a whole lot of range. Um, but the lighting is fucking goaded. Look like a fucking big cum here because it's like all natural down lighting and then there's cross lighting as well. Looks good. Um, plan will be I'll probably go eat to be honest. Do a little bit of walking and then eat. Can I please place an order for eating? Can I please get? 200 grams of chicken breast, 300 grams egg white, 100 grams of bell pepper in the egg white scramble. I'll get 50 grams of avocado, yes. and I'll get 300 grams sweet potato for you. Yep. Can you say egg white meat scramble? Yes, please. And 100 grams of pepper? Yes. I completely forgot the film. I do have a photo though, I took a photo, so the photo will be there. But I got egg white, you heard what I ordered, I got egg white, chicken, mashed potato, bell peppers, and then I also got Sprite, and I'll have the macros on the screen. That is what I would really like to be eating, but they've got so many goodies in here. But, I'm trying to get shredded. So I cannot. Look at all this weird shit they got there. Like salted egg spread. Cookies. I'm assuming cookies is like Biscoff. But like salted egg. What the fuck is that? Alright boys, while I was in the shop, I was getting a little bit ravenous. So I've come home, I've showered because I stank, and I'm going to have a little bit of fruit to tie me over until the next meal. Um, looking at that carrot cake and shit got me so fucking down bad hungry. So, a little bit of fruit. We have rock melon or cantaloupe as they call it here. And then I'll cut up 100 grams of straws as well. 150? One. And there we have it, boys. We got some, uh, some cantaloupe, some strawberries. I put a little bit of equal sweetener on top because I'm a sweet tooth, real bad. Um, I'm gonna enjoy this while I do a little bit of work uh, on this lovely Saturday afternoon. And then for dinner, or yeah, I suppose dinner, third meal, um, I haven't decided what I'm gonna eat yet. I got some like burger buns and shit from the shop, but I don't know, don't know what I'm gonna do. So we'll see. Fellas, we're back. We're back with meal number three. So we've gone for focaccias that are like a burger shape. So I'm gonna make chicken tender focaccia burgers. But yeah, now we're just about to cook up the chicken. I've just previously marinated and I hate the fucking little, in chicken tenderloins, they have the little ligament in there. Fucking disgusting. So I pour all of them out, which is very time consuming, but worth it. So in the air fryer they go. So good. Yeah, there it is. So, oh shit. So, a little bit of cheese, a little bit of tomato. Ooh. Should I put sauerkraut on it? Alan, what is that? Sauerkraut. Oh. Aloha, Aloha, Some fat free mayo. Literally tastes like fucking nothing, but it's good. All right, as per usual, boys, taste test. We're gonna go for the chicken first. A little bit of chicken. Unholy button. Like, actually unbelievable. Now, focaccia. Probably should have toasted the focaccia a little bit, but... Oh, well. It looks fucking good. Mmm. Holy fuck. Oh, fuck, it's good, <laughs> holy shit. I really can smell it. That sauerkraut, that mustard. Oh, holy fuck. 
I'm gonna fucking slam this. We are currently on the hunt for food. I've got oats waiting for me at home. Oh shit! Yeah, I don't like oh shit! I was about to show you this dog, but. That is me. Never mind. I was gonna show you the cute dog, but it's not cute. Fuck that dog. <laughs> meal number four sorted, boys. Well, I suppose meal five if we count the snack, but um, we have 100 grams of oats, raspberries in there, blueberries on top, Pepto Bismol, which is actually whey protein sludge. Let me try and get a little bit of everything here. Yum. Oh. oh, so fucking good. I'll put the macros and shit on the screen, uh, but this will be final meal. So total calories will be 280 protein, 320 fat, sorry, 320 carb and 60 fat, 50 fat. I can't really remember, um, but that is today's full day of eating. And uh, I'm very much looking forward to fucking smashing this.